It, oh yeah, it had that cat breach in there. The thing they put around my wrist, I couldn't feel my hand for days. I was praying every day for Jesus to heal it. And this started to feel better. I started to feel my hand again, but here I don't feel anything much. What is the reason? Do not, do not touch it. What is the reason for the arrest? You see this wickedness? What is the reason? What is the reason for the arrest? You will not live. Father in heaven, I ask of you this day to pour out your spirit upon your children. Tomorrow I ask of you this day to slay the servants of Baal. What is the reason? to touch her. What is the reason? What is the reason? What is the reason? You did not state the reason for the arrest. What is the reason? Give me your arm. Give me your arm now. Give me your arm. What is the reason? Stop! Stop! You're resisting arrest? No, what is the reason for the arrest? The public health orders? No, it's not. That's not what it says. That's not what it says. That is not what the public. That is not what the public order says. I'm not required to go with you. Sit down. Get up. I'm not required to go with you. And then they brought a big black man inside the police officer and said. The black man is a police officer. Yeah, and they. Said, they sure he give you his badge number. No one gave me their badge number or their name. They are supposed, supposed to by to, law. And I asked for a legal aid because I said, you're not supposed to talk with me. And they gave me a detention order from the public health saying that they can detain me. But then on the, on the paper, they got the detention order before I even left the house. They gave me a detention order before I even left. And when I asked them about it, they said, that they were told that I would be leaving the house. And I said, who told you I would be leaving the house? And they said that they were made aware by someone because they were just made aware. And I said, so you've been stalking me pretty much because I never said to anyone that I'm going anywhere. And, and they, they said they were just made aware. But on the paper that they gave you with the blood on it, it says Keisha Richardson, and on this paper it says Keisha Derry, so they weren't even allowed to do this. When I asked them, they were not listening. They said because I wasn't cooperating and I broke the law, I don't get to speak to a legal aid. And they didn't let me um, speak No, to that's a not aid. right. That they is never... not right. No. That is not no. right. They never let me speak Keisha, to you, a legal from aid. From the I time you say lawyer, I said... from the time you say I want no, a man. lawyer, Oh my I God, said, from the time you say that, they have to get you a legal said, representative. You, you don't, don't need to speak. So. No. And no. then they took me to a room by myself because they said I was the, making the people feel unsafe. In, in, unsafe? And, and, and what you were doing? Were you crazy? No, I was just talking like regular. And then they brought me in the other room and made this mental health lady talk to me. And I said, I... I don't feel safe with these people. And she said, you don't answer my questions. It's yes or no. And she tried to force no. me to answer. Okay, you see, that's coercing you. Yes, they never that let is me coercing speak to you. legal aid until after. And it was the man they chose. And he said two no. words to me on the phone and he hung up on me. What? And then I tried to call him no, back. No, he's not they, a lawyer then. No. He's not a lawyer. They're he, just trying to get you. Right. They yes, were so just I, trying to I'll coerce you. Did you? No. And the man asked me what was the what was the case about because they know already what is the case because it was on the paper we served them. So I said it's a civil matter between DSR Keras Consulting and the other people. I made the mistake. I said criminal um, criminal charges. Then I said no, sorry, I don't want to make I don't want to make a mistake. It's actually civil matter. And he said. And then he, and they said to me, you, you don't need to speak to them. You don't have to speak to them. Um, take care. And he hung up on me. And the lady, when I, she never tell me my rights, the legal Did aid, they, did they Mirandize you? No, and I told the they lady. They didn't Mirandize you? They didn't Mirandize me. <laughs> 
And she <laughs> said, there's no man dies rights in Canada. I'm and sorry, I said, what? you're supposed to read my rights You have to the me. right she, to said, an attorney. You're supposed to read my rights to me. And she she didn't read the rights to me until I was in the car and I driving don't know away. What kind of, and, what kind of, what kind of. And, and they told me, do you need to have. Do you need to have counseling there? Nothing. I said, I just need, I just need a Bible. I just need, I just need a place where I can have my worship give, on the Sabbath. You'd have been like, and give me the Bible. <laughs> the love. I, I read First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Peter, Songs of Solomon, everything in between. They said to I me mean, at the time so. I left, and they said, did you get a lot of reading done? I said, indeed. Every day they tried to tell me, you have to get vitals. I said, no, I'm doing good by God's grace. And vitals? Then, yes, to check what my they, vitals to what tell they me they that I'm to, sick. What did they need to check your vitals for? Because they want Where to, were you? I was at Saskatchewan Hospital. I told them you can't. You mental section? I told, at East Prairie UB. And I told and them you that can't. Is? The secure cool. place for criminals. What? And I told them you can't take me here because there's a criminal. There's based on the investigation and the conflict of interest. There's no hospital that SHA you can take me. You know what they said? If I don't talk, they're gonna send me to the prison cells and they're gonna put me with the criminals in the prison cells. But that is the right on. And I said, and I said you can't take me to prison cells because I didn't do any crime. What did and they charge not, you with? She said that I was. Forcing my dad not to get arrested, so withholding a, someone from being arrested, and also written, resisting arrest, they said. That's BS charges. What is the reason? What is the reason? Do not, do not touch her. What is the do not reason touch for the arrest? You see the... Stop! Stop! You're resisting arrest? And no, what is the reason? Yes. Yes, and that's what I thought. They would not actually charge me because then I have to go to court and I have to talk. And these people, they wanted me to talk about Dave. They kept asking me about what supports I had and they asking me where is my family. And I said my first support is Jesus. And it is. And when, whenever, I, whenever I tell them that this was tortured pursuant to 269.1, one of the police officers, he was sighing in the back and they were saying, you know what, Keisha, you're here today because you broke the law. And they tried to manipulate me. They broke the law. Yes, they broke the law. They broke the law. And they told me, Did you, you, they, they told never me gave they you your came, badge number. No, and they, well, they would have. Um, and I told them to it? sign their name on a paper of the discussion that we had because they were writing notes and no No one signed the paper. They kept bringing in new police every few minutes They bringing new police and you know what they told me they called granny and they said your grandmother was very upset that you didn't tell her you were in the hospital She's very upset with you and I almost start to cry because that and she said It's a woman. A she said to me, you know but I said to her, that was Keisha's choice. She had the option to let her She's family know, no, and she no. didn't. The I'm woman, and she, She's a liar. She, She's and I, the phone call. Keisha, I'm yes, so I don't, so don't send my soul. She, I, 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 I never I even said see. anything because I knew they were going to, they were trying to pick at me to make me uh, upset. So I never said anything. I knew you were going to say, I knew you were going to say anything. And I, I wasn't worried. Yeah, I, I the whole time, all the all the time of the day I was reading my Bible. After they came and told me that I wouldn't be able to go back to my house, every few minutes they were checking the door. They wanted to come back seeing me crying in my bed. Every time they came to see me, I was reading my Bible and they went because back upset. Because Tanya told me that yesterday too, that you won't be okay, able to go me, back what, to your, to your and home. And I'm how saying, is it that they know this? Oh, you know this? Yes, we need... We need to pray, and we need to. We need. I need. I need Robert to get my stuff so I can get a hold of yeah. my husband because I don't know what yeah. they're trying to do to him over there. They've been looking him up in the computer and let doing me, wickedness. But they can't. But do you know, me tell you something. Everything is logged in Ottawa. 
And your first thing to do is go to Ottawa and tell them of the mistreatment that they have been doing to y'all. They're going to get into trouble. I couldn't even tell them that I was losing feeling in my hand because then they would have tried to force vitals on me and make me sick in the hospital. And I still because don't feel... Because the woman tell me you refuse to take the coma test. Yes, because they would have right. made me sick. Yeah. You're right. And because they... they um, um, what did I need? Kian tell me yesterday, Dale, that you would have been out a long time to... Can I say pistols and even the police was telling me, all of us just went in the room and took the COVID test. Uh, I said, I didn't see nothing. I, I've, got, I've got to go into this thing with a 15-minute time limit so I can have a quick prayer with you. So she, she okay, okay we'll all, okay, you can pray and we'll let you go then. Go ahead. Okay. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for your love, grace, and mercy and what you have done for us this day. Lord, I thank I you for allowing you to have the freedom to come over the hospital and to be with her family. And Lord, I ask that you to pour your spirit upon her and to pour your spirit upon Dave. And Lord, upon my mother and my sisters and, 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 and nephews and George for coming and dr- driving this way um, to show their love and support. Strengthen them and bless them and watch over Robert's mother and his and his brother. Lord, pour out your spirit upon them and give them mercy and watch over Robert pour out your spirit upon them without measure. And Father, this day I ask of you, cleanse me from every state of sin. Lord, I ask of you this day to empty me like I have never been emptied before and to fill me with your spirit in the full force of the latter rain. Lord, as we go to deal with these matters this day, I ask of you, Lord, to do the speaking and not me, that your will will be done and that justice Mm -hmm. will reign. Because, Lord, the halls of justice are corrupt. And, Lord, I ask of you to stand up for your people, for the evil and the wickedness that has been done this day. Lord, I ask of you to have mercy upon all those people who are doing things ignorantly, that they would have a chance to know who you are, and that they would have a chance to receive your love and your mercy and your blessing. And Father, this day, I offer myself to you as a willing participant. Use me as you see fit for your honor and glory. I thank you and praise you this day for hearing and answering my prayer. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. All right, Dad, do you know the number okay. of the mother of Robert? Does Granny know it? Uh, I got Robert. Granny, okay, she, we'll, yeah, she does. we'll get okay. in hold. We'll, go, right. we'll call him and get a hold All of right. him. Thank you. All right. Okay, love you. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. Love you. Bye. Okay, because... Bye. Bye. Bye.